Hi everyone, in this video we're going to prove that if you have a function whose derivative is equal to zero on some open interval, then the function must be constant on that interval. And we're going to do it using what's called the mean value theorem from calculus. So before we do the proof, let me recall what the mean value theorem says. So the mean value theorem says if you have a function that is continuous, so if f is continuous on, say, the closed interval a, b, and then we also have to have differentiability, so differentiable on the open interval a, b, if these conditions are satisfied, then the mean value theorem from calculus says that there exists some number c inside the open interval a, b, such that when you look at the difference, when you look at f of b minus f of a, that's equal to f prime of c times b minus a. And you can write this multiple ways. You can do f of a minus f of b, a minus b. You can see that by multiplying by negative one. Another way to do it would be to divide by b minus a. That's probably the way you've seen it if you've had uh, calculus one. In any case, we're gonna use uh, this version of the mean value theorem in order to prove this problem. And the idea is that to show something is constant, we're going to show that given any x and y, f of x is equal to f of y. That means given any input, the output is always the same. In other words, the output does not change. In other words, the output is constant. And that's what it means for a function to be constant. It's equal to like a number, like 5 or 6. It doesn't change. Let's go ahead and go through the proof. And I think I can explain the proof as I go through it instead of having to, to work it out beforehand, which is often the case in harder problems. Uh, so proof. So we'll start by assuming that the derivative is equal to zero for all x and a, b. So you would start by saying, suppose that f prime of x is equal to zero for all x in your open interval. So for all x in the open interval a, b. Um, before we use the mean value theorem, let me just say this. The derivative is written down on the board. Therefore, f is differentiable. Because it's differentiable, it's continuous. So we can use the mean value theorem. So I'll, I'll just say that verbally. So now we have to show it's constant on a, b. So what we'll do is we'll take any, and I'll use x and y. So take any x and y in the open interval a, b. And the goal is to show that f of x is equal to f of y. Now, in order to use the mean value theorem, you have to know which one is smaller. Right? Because you can't write AB if A is bigger than B. A has to be less than B here. So I'm going to assume that X is less than Y. However, um, you could do the same argument and um, say X is bigger than Y. You can consider a similar interval. So assume without loss of generality. That means that a similar argument can be done that X is less than Y. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the mean value theorem on x comma y. So if it was the other way around, if y was less than x, we would use it on y comma x. So assume without loss of generality that x is less than y. So then it's a beautiful proof. By the mean value theorem, MBT, we can find some number c. So there exists a value of c in xy such that when we look at the difference, f of y minus f of x. So f of y minus f of x. That's equal to f prime of c, and this is y minus x. So again, if x is bigger than y, then you just look at y x. It's very similar, and you get f of x minus f of y, uh, x minus y. Everything is, is okay. f prime of c is equal to zero because c, c is an x y, which is a subset of a b, right? This is, this is a b, and this is x y. So c is here. So because c is an x, y, it must also be an a, b. So I, I think that part is clear. So this is equal to 0 times y minus x, which is equal to 0. In particular, we have f of y minus f of x equal to 0. So that means that f of y is equal to f of x. And the key point here is that this holds for any x and y in the interval. So for any x and y, f of y is equal to f of x. Therefore, the function must be the same, right? It's got to be constant, so it doesn't change. So f is constant. So f equals a constant, constant function. And you can finish your proofs many ways. I like to use a box with an x. I stole that from a professor I used to have long ago. So.
I hope this video has been helpful. This is a beautiful example of the mean value theorem. This is uh, amazing in my view. It's got goosebumps. Really, 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 really nice proof. Um, and you use this in calculus, right? You know, if, if your derivative is zero, the function is constant. So now you know why. It's because it follows from, from the mean value theorem. That's how you prove it, at least. I hope this video has been helpful. Take care.